Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are featuring an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one, take one. Laura, welcome to Freiburg TV. I'm Charlie Coppinger. And I'm Joe Turner. Today on Freiburg News, we have three stories from around the school. But first up, we have a captivating story about bullying. Take it away, Charlie. Thanks, Joe. Bullying has become a major problem for everyone, not just the victims. Every day a minority of thugs torment normal, peaceful students and make their lives and learning a living hell. But there is no simple, quick answer to stop one child being unkind. In recent weeks, videos depicting graphic violence have been uploaded to social networking and media sharing websites on the internet. Many people think the availability of these shocking videos have caused a surge in violence amongst the children in the schoolyard. Education correspondent Taylor now speaks with Dr. Rodale, a psychologist specialising in the behaviour of mankind. Hello, I'm Taylor, and I'm here with Dr. Rodale. Thank you for being here, Dr. Rodale. Now, bullying has been around for years. Why has it not stopped, and why is it getting worse? Well, I reckon that nowadays, when people want something, they decide to take it, and they seem to have a lack of respect for um, other people's feelings. Now, do you think the violence portrayed on the internet has anything to do with this? Yes, like a big part actually. Um, it's just the tip of the iceberg that um, now that people have um, internet and um, social networking, um, people who watch the videos and people who read the stories are actually a part of the bullying instead of just being an observer. Now, Dr. Rodell, what is your answer to this? There is no exact answer at the moment, but just when you meet people, just spread the love and respect each other, that's all. Dr. Rodell, thank you for being here. Back to Joe and Charlie in the studio. An interesting interview. Thanks, Taylor. And now, for something else, hats. What's the problem? <laughs> Recently, due to the change of season, the issue of wearing hats in and around the school has been raised once again. Beanies, keep your head warm. But strangely enough, they have also been banished from the heads of Freiburg students. So, what's wrong with wearing beanies? Of course there's a Western culture for taking your hats off indoors, and that has been weighed up against personal freedom. Where would society be without <laughs> its rules? But, is this ridiculous or impractical? Elliot. Elliot asks Freiburg Dean Bernard Harris about the clarification of the hat rule. Over to you, Elliot. I think the idea comes from uh, the idea that students in Mufti would be dressed as they would if they were going for a job interview, uh, to try and keep the standard high, and certainly if you're going for a job interview you'd probably be generally inside, uh, and you, you probably wouldn't be wearing a hat. Yeah. Just because it's something that students want to do doesn't always mean it's right either, you yeah, know, or yeah. the best thing. Yeah. What is your opinion on students wanting to wear their head, headwear all year round? I guess the, to me, you know, the, the bean, as I said, the beanie can look quite unsightly, uh, and so I think that's probably the main thing that students would want to wear in terms two and three when it's when it's cold. And so the school does have a, a Freiburg beanie uh, to try and take away some of that, you know, rough, rougher look. For rehearsals for this year's production, Footloose, <laughs> well underway. Cast crew, musicians, stage hands, students, staff, and parents. We've been putting lots of effort in to make this show well worth seeing. <laughs> Less than a month away, now it seems to be coming together. The story is about. <laughs> Camera one. Well in love. <laughs> Camera one. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulty, guys. It's embarrassing. <coughs> What's happening? Only Charlie. Charlie. Hey, we'll make it up here, okay? Hold up, it's going up. <laughs> the rehearsals for this year's production, Footloose, are well underway. Cast, crew, musicians, stagehands, students, staff and parents have all been putting in lots of effort to make the show well worth seeing. Less than a month away now, it all seems to be coming together. 
The story is about an uptight town and a teenager who, is, who, is, who inspired law changes and excitement. Entertainment correspondent Colin Collinson spoke with Kevin Venison. Over to you, Kevin. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and here we have Kevin. Thanks, Kevin, for coming in. Anyway, <laughs> how do you think the preparations for the show is coming along? Well, there's been a lot of time put in, so it's going to be a fabulous show. And we have singing, dancing, and there's a great story behind it all. And it's not only the people on stage that makes a great show. No, absolutely not. There, there are heaps of people behind the scenes that are making it all come together and the teachers have given up heaps of time doing rehearsals and yeah. And what can people do to see the show? Buy some tickets from Freiburg High School or Tickety and the show, the show goes from the 24th of May to the 28th. Thank you Kevin for your time. Now over to you Finn with the weather update. We have some technical difficulties. Thanks guys, let's take a look at tomorrow's weather across Aotearoa. No, 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 no. no. Quite tired as usual. Morning sun in Auckland, but rain in the afternoon. In Coromandel, the Bay of Plenty, light cloud 18 degrees. In Hamilton, rain keeps you at 14 degrees. Rotorua to Taupo, thunderstorms and chilly temperatures. Napier Hastings are lucky with a sunny day at 26 degrees. In New Plymouth, a Nova Light low of minus 4 degrees means snow, but a beautiful day. From Whanganui to Palmerston North, cloudy with warm temperatures. But in the capital, <laughs> head to the beach, enjoy a sunny high of 28 degrees. Across the Cook Strait, Nelson tops the highs with 31 degrees. Charles and Kaikoura break by midday, so leave your way out watching to the afternoon. In Christchurch, light cloud with snow. In Ashburton, sunny skies take you to 24 degrees, but dark, angry skies bring heavy rain to the west coast. Moving south, thunderstorms spread inland towards Queenstown, where a chilly Queenstown, where a chilly 8 degrees mixes with the north winds from the Isobar map. Invercargill, Dunedin, Fiordland, all fine with drizzly spells. Now back to you all at the studio. I've been Finn Nicholson. A very good night. Thanks. Look like it's going to be a warm one in Wellington tomorrow. Well, that's it from us folks. We hope you've enjoyed the show and we wish you all a pleasant evening. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. From the whole team at Freiburg FM on TV, goodbye. And no hora. Freiburg FM. Roll the camera. Okay. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we are featuring an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one, take one. Thank you.